guys, I hope you're all doing well and staying safe and thank you so much for checking back into my channel. Now, today is going to be a very exciting one, so I'll be heading off to the BFI London Film Festival for the Empire of Light film premiere, so some very exciting stuff. This video is just going to be a get ready with me kind of video just to see um, how I go from A to B. And um, yes, I'll be taking you guys along the journey. So today is Wednesday. Um, I think it's just gone 12. Um, I might look a little bit funny at the moment. This is me literally fresh faced. You know, just come out of the shower. Um, I'm, I'm getting ready to go soon. So yeah, I'll be showing you guys some of the products that I'm using, you know, just to get a feel of um, me getting ready and stuff like that. So the event starts at six o'clock. So I've got some time to get ready, which is great. Before further ado, make sure you follow me on all of my social media platforms, you know, just to keep track of what I'm doing and stay tuned for the rest of the video. Um, so just to show you the products that I've been using to get skin ready, making sure my um, skin is in its best place, I've been using Ordinary, um, and this is a serum that I use at night, and it just helps to minimise hyperpigmentation, and that's normally especially when you have um, dark skin like myself and when you do break out and it tends to leave like scars on your face um, it's, for me luckily it's not it's not too much but it is still there um, so this you know I read the reviews and things like that um, it helps to kind of smooth that out which is really good um, and also I've been using Garnier um, this is just as you can see I've been using it quite a lot actually but yeah it's just a cleanser that I use you can use it daily uh, but I tend to use it at night especially after all the activities and stuff like that and then you come home and and you just um, clean out your skin because I do tend to have oily skin as well so I just wanted to make sure that you know my skin's in the best position that it could be so that when I do wear makeup it sits nicely um, so yeah these are the two main products that I've been using and then also um, I have been using sheer butter now this is um, I bought this on Amazon and I also read the reviews for this as well so this is 100% um, pure okay so for me like I've definitely Definitely been onto natural products more now and um, especially like when it comes to skincare and stuff like that I think it's um, you know it's definitely been a popular option to you know get onto natural products so this I use all over my body um, it does get quite oily so if you do have oily skin like myself it's better to use not a lot especially on your face but um, but other than that, like in terms of um, all over your body, this is what I use as well. And I think with this one, it's like nice and thick. I'll show you actually. Um, so this is what it looks like. It's nice and thick. Um, and so when you put it on, it's literally like a, it's not watery or anything. It's nice and thick. So it kind of like makes your skin very, uh, feel, uh, makes it feel very moisture actually. So yeah, that's what I've been using. Okay, so let me just show you some of the products that I'll be using. Um, so the first one for foundation, I'm going to be using NARS. Um, so yeah, do you know what, I only recently started using this. This is very matte as well, which I found to be really good because with me I have my like, oily skin. I've got oily skin guys, like seriously. Um, so that helps a lot to just mattify everything and then I've got um, this Morphe finishing what's it called yeah finishing powder so this Morphe finishing powder um, and it's in the color filter 13 okay so that's what I use normally to kind of you know when I'm done with everything that's what I use I am using the Fenty Beauty makeup sponge as well so you know with sponges, like I always find it, sometimes it's really hard getting that good quality one. So I thought, let me try the Fenty Beauty one. And it's actually really good. It's really soft as well, which is great. So I'm using the Got To Be. Um, if it will focus, I don't know what's going on here. I don't know why it's not focusing. But yeah, I'm using the Ultra Glued Got To Be. So this is just going to be for my edges to lay it all down. Because the hairstyle that I'm doing is going to be... Like it's gonna be like a side, not a side, yeah, like kind of like a side low pony, 
okay so I'm just gonna have to change up my hair a little bit so that's how it's gonna be and then um, I'm also gonna use this matte finishing spray so this just makes everything you know sink into your face and not look so cakey as well so with like eyeshadow and things like that um, I'm gonna be using the Morphe um, Avani Greg palette um, when I saw this palette online, it was because it was on sale, <laughs> so that's why I bought it. And yeah, so we've got, I'll show you the colours, what it looks like. So very fun colours, which is cute. Um, and I found like the pigmentation to be actually really strong, which is great. So yeah, so that's what I'll be using. Okay, and last but not least, um, I'll be using, I'll be using the Fenty Beauty bronzer and then the Sleek makeup highlighter. So this one right here. So a lot of bronzes, a lot of like neutral tones i think i want to go for that look because i think it goes with my outfit so yeah let me start getting ready let me start putting my makeup on and then i may show you my outfit i'm wearing so keep on watching Okay guys, so I am done getting ready, like my hair, makeup is all done. Um, I actually was going to book a makeup artist to do it, but I just thought, you know, the time I get there and I think uh, it would just be too long. I mean, today I just really just want it to be chill and, and like not having to rush anywhere and go from one location to the next. So I done it myself um, and yeah, so pretty much now the last bit is to get my outfit um ready to go okay guys so um i thought let me show you guys my dress you know i might as well um so yeah this is what it looks like it's like a coral kind of color and it's got the um flaps on the side which is really cute the thing is it's because like because i'm not wearing it right now so it kind of looks a bit funny but um i'll show you guys what it looks like but yeah this is the dress so yeah this is very cute actually um I got styled by Live For The Look, so I'll plug her Instagram in the description. But this is what it looks like. And then with the dress, I'm going to be um, having this really, really cute and different um, handbag in orange. It's like a vibrant orange colour. And yeah, no, it's very cute, to be honest. Like, I've been feeling, you know, with you know with the bright colors and stuff like that um i don't wear orange often you know but i feel like it would actually complement the dress a lot so this is also um a style by live for the look and let me show you the guys the um the accessories that i'm going to be wearing as well okay so with the accessories i'm going to be having this gold watch and i'm going to be wearing um these gold hoops and these are from Shein. Uh, so yeah, I've given a very glitzy kind of look and because um, this is gold as well This is also plugged by live for the look so what I'll do is I'll finish getting ready and then Once I am fully done, I'll show you the outfit and everything and what it looks like. So yeah, and now I can go. I'm actually really excited. I actually don't know what to expect, you know, but because it's been a while since I've been on a red carpet, so like, it'll be it'll be cool to see how it goes down, you know. And yeah, pretty much I'm gonna leave soon too. So yeah, keep on watching. Okay, so I think I am done completely now. As you can see, I've got this chain. So this dress is from ASOS, um, and the jewelry are from Shein. So yeah, I think it's all done, you know. So I'm ready to go. So um, we're gonna get a cab and make our way in there.
guys so i'm just making my way now um so we're just in the cab so i don't know we don't really know what to expect but we'll see how it goes So um, we have just finished coming out of the Empire of Light film um, and the great thing was that we saw the whole cast and crew come up on stage before the film started so that was really really good. Um, so yeah, so definitely if you're into like slow burners, um, definitely it is a little bit x-rated, I'm not going to lie. Um, so that might be a put off for some people but I think it was nice definitely to see the cast and crew um, coming on stage and you know um, at least that way we get to have a little bit of picture with them because obviously at the beginning especially during the red carpet there was a lot of people so it was definitely harder but yeah no overall that was really really fun experience I loved it so yeah it's been so so cool so yeah that, I think that wraps up today um, for being at the BFI London Film Festival thank you so much for watching guys make sure you stay tuned for more videos on the way Bring back me, ho, worry about your dollar. ACL, bitch, what were you stuck on?